Hi, how's it going? Just make sure we're recording. Yes, we are. Okay. So we were looking at the Game Awards situation and show. We, uh, If you haven't checked that video out, I'm sure that's up with this one. Uh, if you are tuning into my channel because of Elder Scrolls Online and you're like, wow, who are you? Or wow, Mav, wow, you're back. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted to check out the trailer for Elder Scrolls Online. It has been a long time. I have played since the alpha, the beta. I've been around forever. I did take some time off to play other games and sort of kind of changed my content up a little bit. But my heart will always be with Elder Scrolls Online. They are who I was partnered on Twitch with. They are where I started. They are where I kind of learned how to grow a community, how to be a part of a community online and in the gaming space. So Elder Scrolls Online is always going to have just that special place in my heart. They announced uh, some stuff uh, on the Game Awards, which is pretty cool, uh, a trailer. And they also announced that there's going to be a global... I'm just going to show you what I'm looking at. They also announced they're doing a global reveal event on the 21st of January, which I don't understand why they would wait till January, but that's really fine. Whatever, whatever you do. Uh, they still have crates in the game. They look super cool. There's just the mechanics of the game itself. Honestly, the mechanics of Elder Scrolls Online is what really makes the game amazing. Not only because the world is just gorgeous and beautiful and real and large, <laughs> and it's not super cartoony. It's very realistic. It's very Elder Scrolls. Uh, it's like, if you're thinking like, I love Elder Scrolls, I want to play it in an MMO. Elder Scrolls Online is the perfect place for you. They have brought so many of the zones into reality. With that being said, let's go check out the new trailer. Trailer. Gates of Oblivion. So that's what's coming next. They've got a reveal event. I um, I was born on January 1st, uh, 21 and um, 19 and 69. Okay, let's go here. Oh, so they go to Bethesda. Sweet. Wait, Zenimax Online Studios. God, man. Oh, I'm actually really excited to watch this. <laughs> Cinemax Online Studios. <gasps> Look at this. They just the cinematic team is always so good. I actually have never played Oblivion. Maybe we should play that before this comes out. Is she a boss man? I don't even know. Some sort of outhorn? Demon! Twenty twenty one Gates of Oblivion. When does it come out? Global reveal. Okay, two p.m. Pacific. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Well, should you play Elder Scrolls Online in 2020, 2021? Yes, uh, I could not rant, rant and rave about this game enough. You should one hundred percent be playing this game if you are into multiplayer and massive MMOs, you want to be in a part of a mystical, beautiful world, you're going to want to play this game. Not only because the combat mechanics are second to none, like it is very intuitive. It's wonderful. You don't need a bunch of add-ons and, and other third-party things. Like you, obviously there's damage meters and stuff that you can get, but they have added so much throughout the years to this game. And I feel like finally this game is actually more complete than it was way back in the day. There are places like Skyrim in the world. There are places that 
in the Elder Scrolls universe and lore that you get to go and experience. Um, this is the second era. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is a, its own era though. So you're not going to be in the same eras as their are, they are single player standalone games. But, you know, it's a fun adventure if you are looking to um, play through story. I highly recommend that you sort of go through the the zones. Clearing zones has been one of the most fun things I've done in Elder Scrolls. Bring some friends and go to each zone and clear them. You can, you can go and basically do complete them and everything in the way shrine and everything. They have raids. They're called tr trials. Uh, I just call them raids because my MMO brain's like raid because we raid in Destiny, we raid in World of Warcraft, and it's it's called trials, but it's basically a raid uh, in Elder Scrolls Online, and those are really cool. Those are really fun. Their dungeons are fun. Their delves are fun. Their PvP is really fun as well. So I mean, I keep getting the call to play this game, and there's so much to do in it right now that I feel like it might be a good time to check it out. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, do you wanna Do you wanna go on this journey with me? Do you want to get back into Elder Scrolls Online? Are you an OG? Have you been here since the beginning? Or are you just t returning and wanting to see Elder Scrolls for the first time or whatnot? Let me know, I wanna know down below. Go on Twitter, whatever place that you like to use and comment and let me know. I will post the links everywhere for this video. But yeah, that is really cool. On top of everything, the community managers, the devs, they work so hard and they're so wonderful. Uh, they were so wonderful to me. The very, very first TwitchCon I ever went to was with Bethesda and with Elder Scrolls Online. And they always took such good care of me. They've always just been so nice to me. Uh, if you're wondering why I did stop playing was because it was sort of in the year three of the MMO. So it was like sequel city, you know, like there wasn't enough going on, but there was like a lot of changes and the community aspect was really sort of different and weird and interesting and, but then not. So it was just there's just a lot going on and there were a lot of other games that I wanted to play. So I had been playing Elder Scrolls Online for so long and then, yeah, I just sort of wanted to explore the Destiny community, which ended up being a wonderful decision. Uh, I, I explored a lot of different games and communities and, you know, we were on on teams with like Cypher and Deltia and the Pugs and Pink and everyone on the team and then um, tried a, a bunch of different groups of friends to try and make content with. So I've sort of been just trying stuff, you know? And I, I feel like I'm really happy that I, I did, but it also makes me happy that a game that is so special to me offline and online is still doing so well, is still crushing it, is still making beautiful content. And, you know, my, my favorite games, Elder Scrolls Online and Destiny are kind of in the, like a really happy place right now in terms of just like making really great, wonderful, uh, content in their games. Um, so it's so weird because they're such, they're like such a different audience. And so I've always sort of like gone back and forth with that a little bit. Uh, but you know, you just gotta, you gotta do what you, what you want to do. And so maybe, Maybe we'll just sack up and do this. I don't know. Let me know if that is something you want to see. Thank you so much for tuning in and make sure to subscribe if you like videos like this. If you want me to do more uh, things like this, if you want me to explain things in the game or if you want just my reaction on things with the game, let me know. I would love to love to kind of get your, your, uh, your interests here on the YouTube machine. We really can make anything we want. So that's where we're at. <laughs> As always, stay majestic as Ferk, and I love your faces.